up and talking about your family till we fall asleep I don't like that you know my order when we're out to eat and you pay for me all right, so first class pass workout is done. I kept it short because I actually have a few other things I've planned doing today, but I did the 13 minute abs and booty with Patricia Fit. It was lovely. I really liked that C curve thing in the beginning to really activate the core. That was really nice. Uh, it just felt nice on the spine. Like I'm not big into a ton of like spinal flexion, but it was nice just because it was one of the first things I did for movement in the morning. So that was a good thing. I really loved all of the stuff on all fours, stacking the hands on top of each other to encourage a lot more core stabilization. That was really nice. And the only thing that I didn't love were those like side um, leg raises. I just couldn't get my supporting leg in a good enough position to um, get out of the supporting hip as well as the hip that was working. And she did say in there like we did a lot of work on the hips, but in my opinion, I don't really think we need to be like working the hip flexors because they're so tight all the time anyway. I just, uh, and that's a big reason why I don't really encourage bar for a lot of people because we have a lot of hip dysfunctions and um, people don't really know how to turn out properly. So, and I actually wouldn't even say this is like a traditional bar. This was definitely more Pilates, but it was really short, 13 minutes. I couldn't actually find, I, I wanted like a standing bar class and I couldn't find one on the ClassPass app. So you'll see like I scrolled for a while kind of looking and there were a lot of things when I selected bar coming up that were not bar <laughs> by any means. It was like hit workouts. And I was like, I, I'm pretty sure I clicked on bar, but anyway, so that one was lovely. I'd love to try out one of her longer programs too. Aside from that like hip raise thing, I thought it was really good. So day one, done. morning. I'm kind of whispering because Kevin's asleep and also those angles were very interesting because I left my little tripod in the bedroom and he's sleeping and I didn't want to wake him up. So um, that was lovely. I'm going to show like a screen recording but um, what's really cool about their audio yoga programs is that you can actually change the music to whatever like inspires you. So I always keep on the ambient. I think that's like the um the one that it starts with this one itself the girl was really really clear i have taken a few of these in the past where it's like what do you want me to do but this one was a nice mix of like um if you were more of a beginner yogi then she was breaking down what exactly things were but then she would also give the name as far as like the content of the workout it started out great like a lot of like chest and back opening hip opening we're in like a high lunge. I'm like, oh, okay, great, we're standing now. Like, this is good. And I'm anticipating, like, let's open up to warrior two. Move your right leg, lift the back left leg, warrior three. Reaching your arms still by your ears. In my opinion, that was like a little, I mean, if we're only going for like 11 minutes and you really want to like get the blood flowing, like, you know, she did keep saying like, lifting the chest up by engaging the muscles of the spine like that is definitely something that you want to do at the beginning of your day um engaging the muscles of your back to really set you up for good posture for the rest of the day but like i don't know for me i was like that that was really intense personal preference whatever i also kind of just wanted something more when you tell them the mat for 11 minutes so it was definitely not that but not gonna take points off for that so those are my thoughts um I'm gonna go on studying now. It's like 8 a.m. and that's about it. See you on day three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. We're just gonna talk right here. All right. So that was great. Um really hard for sure. So that was a class pass live, which I guess is usually done live. And like, it took me a minute to realize like, I'm like, who's Steven? Like, who are you talking to? So I guess they can see like, um, who's tuned in. I'm not really sure. I've never, I guess I've just never done one of them live before. I don't know. So 
And that was with Bakari, Bakari Williams. Yeah, I actually, I chose his class on purpose because I used to take his class at City Row all the time and I just know that he's phenomenal. Um, I don't know if like, if he programs that class as far as the content goes or if it's uh, provided for him. Excellent, 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 excellent programming. Definitely a lot of jumping for a home workout, but they had one of the, which is very common, but they had one of the instructors like showing modifications, which was still really challenging for sure. The movement patterns in general were really well thought out. It was very functional, which if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I love that. This was a very functional workout, especially because we were working in, we had lots of lunges, we had lots of squats, and we still had a lot of um, hip hinging motions, that deadlift motion, which a lot of times is like the first thing to go when you are doing a lower body focus workout. People just tend to forget about it. We worked in all planes of motion, which was lovely. So, you know, we had like the lunge squat, so that um, sagittal plane, we did a lot of frontal, so side to side. I love that like, the jump lunges into the side hurdles. I love putting two movements together that feature two different planes of motion because again, it's just so much more functional. It like really trains you how you move in everyday life. So that was great. We had some good like rotational planes too. So that transverse plane overall it was really, really great. Definitely exhausting. And it was a 30 minute workout with a warm up and a cool down. So. I recommend that one. That was definitely the best one I've done so far. All right, just finished my fourth class pass workout on the app. Literally what you guys have been watching this whole time. So that one I thought was going to be terrible. I don't know why I just like looked at the video and I was like, this is not gonna be good. And it was also like, a weird name and then it was like hit Pilates inspired hit and I was like what is this gonna be it was actually great it was I, I was also like attracted to trying it because it said it was functional and I was like will you be though and it was that warm-up was awesome hit every plane of motion hit the lunge squat deadlift and then I was like okay so is this gonna be because like the whole warm-up like this is not Pilates based at all this is just like functional movement and then I'd say the bulk of the workout was like mostly like I could definitely see how it was Pilates based yeah I thought it was really nice there were some moves where I was like what am why am I doing this oh my god friend in the vulture well I thought the instructor was really informative I liked his accent and I would totally do that one again I would definitely look at like other ones from that company All right guys, so me and Zoe are just uh, trying to get through to class pass because they just royally screwed me. So I was like, you know what? I feel like I need to do one more take on these at-home workouts. And because of coronavirus, studios are actually like streaming live classes on class pass which is cool and you can use your credits for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use some of my class uh, credits that I have lying around. Um, so I found one from Rise by Wee, which I've actually never been to. And I was like, oh, this would be a great chance to like really, uh oh, cat's gonna bite me. Ah! All right, we're safe. So essentially I reserved the class and I reserved it a little over an hour before the class started. And then I got a confirmation and it was like within an hour of class, you will get an email with how to stream your class and then I never got an email so I was like refreshing I looked through my spam and then I just ended up like contacting class pass through the app telling them what happened I didn't even say can you I said you will give me my credits back and you will not charge me a no-show fee I guess that's the end of this video that uh, class pass at home is hit or miss and I Honestly, like I would not bother with those streaming ones. I would go right through the studio because it does not seem like it works. So that is my review of the whole class pass, working out from home system that they've got going on. There's some flops, there are some duds, but there's some really great content on there too. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you have found a video that you really like or a teacher that you really like on there. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss any videos and hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, okay, okay.